guys, today's video is going to show you how to make this PC bottle. This is 3D bottle. Many of you already make my 2D soda bottles. And today, and I already have 3Ds for Coca-Cola. And today, I'm going to make this one. And you can use the same design to make different brands of sodas or water bottles. Today, for this project, we only need six packs. So you can use monster tail. For these six packs, or use any kind of room that has six packs. Since I already used monster tail to make my Coca Cola bottle, so today I'm going to show you how to make it on the room. First, we're going to start from the bottom and go all the way up. So for the bottom there, I'm going to use jelly white. I'm going to take one single band, twist it, make it into two loops, place it right here between these two packs. You don't have to turn it into egg, just press right on. Take one single band, do the same. We're going to repeat this step and go all the way around this six peg. Okay, this is our first layer. So right now, your room should look like this. Now we're going to work on the second layer. Second layer, we're going to start using green colors. If you want to make soda, the soda that I use for this bottle is the bands from Rainbow Rooms. You can get this from Rainbow Room web store or my course. Now I'm going to take one single green color Place between two pegs and go all the way around, come back here. Now we have two layers. Now we're going to start looping. We're going to loop the bottom layer. Make sure you grab all the jelly Y. Move it up and over. Grab all the bottom there. You should have four of them. Move it up and over. Bottom there. All the jelly Y. Move it inside. So after you loop the bottom there, on each peg, you should still have two bands on each peg. Now we're going to do the same thing on this side. I'm going to remove this bar so it will be easier for you to see on the screen. Grab the bottom there, move it inside. Bottom there, move it inside. For the green colors, I'm going to use two layers, so we're going to repeat this step and do it one more time. Press one single band between two pegs and go all the way around and come back here. See, now on each peg, you see two layers, four bands, two of each layer. On this side, the same. Now we're going to start looping again. Grab the bottom there, move it up and over. Bottom there, move it inside. Bottom there, move it inside. Do the same thing on this side. Bottom there. Move inside. Okay. Now we have finished our drink colors. Now we're going to start 
working on the label on the metal here I'm gonna use blue it will be the same single pen go all the way around this six peg Now on your room, she looks like this. Now I'm going to start looping again. Grab the bottom two. Grab the bottom two. Move it inside. Bottom two. Move it inside. Do the same thing on this side. For the blue, I'm going to use four layers. So this is our first layer. So we got three more to go. Do the same thing. Grab the bottom layer. Inside, do the same thing on this side. Grab the bottom two, go inside, bottom two, go inside. Now, this is our third layer of blue. Now we need one more layer. We can push all the pens down. Now after the label, we're going to press two more layers of the drain colors. So take the drain color that you use and the same thing. Go all the way around. Bring the bottom two with inside. Make sure you keep all the bend down so you won't accidentally pop out and you will lose everything. Now next there, I'm still gonna use green colors, but I'm gonna do a little bit different. Next layer, I'm gonna make it double looped it. Take one single bend. Twist it, make it into two loops, and the same, press between these six pegs, go all the way around. Okay, one more.
Okay, this there is single pen, double loop it, and go all the way around. Now I'm gonna loop the pen again. Grab the bottom two, move inside. Bottom two, move inside. Push it down. Okay, now we have finished all the drink. Next, we're gonna use GLEY to make the bottle a little bit longer. First day of the bottle, I'm gonna take GLEY and do the same thing, double loop it. Twist it, make it into two loops. And go all the way around between these six pegs. Now we're gonna do bottom there, move it over, bottom there, move it over. Do the same thing on this side. Make sure you separate two layer. So we're gonna grab the bottom there, move it inside. Bottom there, move it inside. Okay, make sure you push this layer all the way down. Take two jelly Y. This time, I'm gonna just press over the six pegs with two bands. And the same, grab the bottom there. Move it over, bottom there, move it over, bottom there, move it over, bottom there, move it over. Next, I'm going to take two more GIY. Do it one more time. Press it over the six peg. Make sure you separate two layer so you won't miss loop the band. So the same. Bring the bottom layer. Move it inside. Bottom layer. Move it inside. Bottom there, move it inside. And when you finish all six pegs, now the next layer, I'm gonna take just one single band. Jerry White. Move the bottom there, over. Bottom there, move it over. So after you loop the pen here, you should only have one pen left right now. Do the same thing on this side. We're gonna do it one more time, take one single pen. Okay, next we're gonna make this part. This part we're gonna use blue. Take one single pen. 
you can pull from the bottom, pull some out, so you won't get too crowded over there. Take one single band. For the blue, I'm going to use three layers with single band. And the same looping process. Loop the bottom layer. Now I finish one. Got two more to go. Take one more layer. One more layer. Now, last layer. Okay, now we have finished all of them. Now we're going to start close up here. Now we're going to collect all six pegs. Should have one band on each peg. Make sure you keep all of them safe. Because you lose it here, you might lose everything. So after you collect all six, you can pull it out. And this is our bottle. Now we're gonna take one single band, put it right here, and move everything through here. You can pull it. and just tie a knot here. And this is our Pepsi bottle. And if you wanna make the labels on the bottle here, we can do the same thing that we did for the 2D. We can take one red, white, and blue. Put your hook through some of the band. Grab it through. And then the other side, come over here. You can skip one row to the next row. And put your hook through some of the band and just grab it through. Tuck it underneath. Now it looks like a logo. And on the tip here, you can hide it underneath. Hide it inside. You can come over here. And just grab it through inside so you can hide it. We don't have anything inside the bottle so it should be okay for you to run through your hook. And this. And you can do the same on this side if you still if it's too long. And if this works for you, that will be good. And this is our Pessy Butter. If you like my video, subscribe, like, comment, and share. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.